General Atlantic has agreed to buy a stake in Partners Capital, a $50 billion asset manager that focuses on outsourcing investments for institutions including family offices, foundations, and endowments. It's part of a move. Remember, General Atlantic has been diversifying its base here, entering more areas outside of tech like financial services and wealth. And joining me now is Partners CEO Arjun Raghavan. Uh, Arjun, when you think about this General Atlantic investment into your firm, the question for you is why? Why partner now with another asset manager? Thank you, Shanali, for having me. This is a huge moment for Partners Capital, and we're very, very excited about this. Um, as you know, talent is the lifeblood of a firm like ours, and we are of the firm view that this partnership will lock in our senior talent and really allow us to deliver great long-term outcomes for our clients that, frankly, they expect from us. So we've actually been very intentional about choosing a partner. We've spent more than two years uh, trying to find the right partner, and we just think General Atlantic is going to be that partner for us. You know, it's interesting. This all comes at a time where a lot of investors that you work with have been increasingly thinking about the role of private markets. But there are, just at the same time, many concerns about many of those sectors. Can we zoom in for a minute here about private credit and where it falls into the appetite for new money deployed this year? Yeah, we've been investing in private credit for more than 15 years, Shanali. It's always cyclical, and it really depends on, on the supply-demand dynamic. So right now, we continue to believe that it's a great time for private credit because uh, the supply of capital uh, is is much, much lower than the demand for capital. And so we think there's great risk of just returns available. Yes, there's a lot of capital flowing into the space. But if we stay at the senior secured end of the part market, particularly within the mid-market, we think the risk of just returns are fantastic. What about private equity here? Because uh, there are so many investors questioning the push-pull. You see the big giants in, uh, reporting this week, KKR, Apollo, uh, Carlisle, and Aries, really focusing on those credit businesses. And it begs the question, where is the investor demand for private equity? Yeah, we think, I mean, private equity has been through multiple cycles, right? So we've invested in private equity for more than 20 years. We think we've invested through uh, interest rate cycles, which are sort of high interest rates, low interest rates, etc. And we think there's a real place for private equity over the long run. Uh, we think if you're with the right managers, uh, generating mid-teens returns is, is definitely possible. The key thing we think that's changed is the fact that earnings growth is going to be critically important going forward because the other levers, such as financial leverage and multiple arbitrage, sort of buying lower and expecting the multiple to go up, uh, we think that game is going to be very hard to play. But it's, as long as mm -hmm. you've got play. Yeah, it's such ahead. an interesting question to ask you about all these private market plays. Remember, these managers tend to be more expensive than putting your money in an index fund. And we're talking at a time where markets have gone one way <laughs> in the last uh, yeah. 15 to 18 months or so. So what is the incentive to pay up for these assets when the markets, the more liquid markets, have really held up just fine? Well, that's that's history. That's definitely true. But even through the markets that have done exceptionally well over the last 20 years, private equity has tended to own about 400, 500 basis points of premium over public markets. And we think that's going to be true going forward as well, as long as we focus on the managers that there are entirely focused on driving operating, operating earnings growth. Arjun Raghavan of Partners Capital, congratulations on inking the General Atlantic deal.